Welcome back, Gerbalots. So today, we are going to try our little rescue mission that I proposed at the end of the last video. As you'll recall, we were successfully able to save three, two astronauts from the surface of the moon. Well, one that was on the surface of the moon and one that uh, we saved from orbit. However, we ran into a slight difficulty returning home. It seemed like we wasted a little bit too much fuel doing the landing. And as a result, we didn't have quite enough to get back to Kerbin. So we left our poor Kerbin lot stranded in orbit around Moon 1. And uh, amazingly, we had just enough fuel to get into a halfway decent orbit. So as I promised, we're going to do a rescue mission. A rescue mission for a rescue mission. Oh, what is it coming to? So in order to make this work, we're going to use this little advanced grabbing unit. It has a little grabber. With this, we can attach to a spacecraft, and we can use that to transfer fuel. We can also use the same thing to um, to attach to a asteroid. Okay. So this is kind of a standard type spacecraft that we've had for a little while. Uh, a couple things: we have RCS, uh, which we have not had before. We don't have any science at all on this. So this is purely in the rescue mission vein of missions, so we'll see how this goes. So we're going to do a more or less nominal ascent. Let's see, do we see Mon anywhere? I don't see it. Just the sun. It's probably below the horizon. That's okay. We'll be up and about there pretty soon. Um, the top stage on this purposely has a lot of fuel because we want to be able to transfer some of that fuel and the as a result it has a low thrust to weight ratio so we'll see how this goes we're going to do a more vertical ascent than I would normally do it's starting to get dark this actually is fairly realistic. Okay, we're doing good so far. Almost done with the first stage. Looks like we're doing pretty good so far. Um, I'm going to try to keep the time to Apoasis down around 50 seconds. Definitely try to keep it below a minute. Which means we can go pretty horizontal at this point in time. Good. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit more vertical. We're gonna let it. Good, it's counting down but very slowly. That means we're probably on a near optimal trajectory here. This is a very nice trajectory. Beautiful. Look at our beautiful planet here. There's some shaders you can get that are more realistic and pretty, but I'm for the most part I'm trying to stick to stock except for Kerbal Engineer, which mostly helps me to be more realistic, so not be more realistic to talk about more of the physics and to get a little bit better idea of what I'm actually doing. You know, so I have an optimal spacecraft. I don't see anything interesting in the sky. We're going to start burning pure horizontal here. I'm going to go a little bit vertical because our speed is actually getting fairly close to uh, orbital velocity, but yet we're still not no, we should be more. Yeah, I go back and forth. 
We'll point more upward. We're still not high enough for how fast we're going. So if we don't watch out, we'll hit orbital velocity. And still be in the atmosphere, which is not a lot of fun. It's just kind of wasteful, and we don't have a lot of fuel to waste. Okay, now we can level out. Oh, we're almost at orbital. I'm gonna go more vertical, actually. This is a little bit too... too narrow. Yeah, It's funny, that almost never happens. Actually, we're nearly spot on. I think I had it, but I messed it up. Okay, the moon burn time is right about here. No, it's... We're gonna have to burn a little bit of the app oasis to make this work. <sighs> It'll be fine. I'll try to remember and include a link here, but I uh, used an actual picture that I, I took of some model rockets launching and I uh, created a, a t-shirt on Cafe Spring with saying it'll be fine. I'm going to try to do some, some of those kind of fun types of things. I'll try and remember to leave a link in the description. Yeah, just for fun and it helps support the channel a little bit too. So we're going to take advantage of a known Kerbal. I'm not going to call it completely a bug, but um, it's an inaccuracy. When you warp, then it will stop moving. And that can actually be problematic. There's a mod that you can get that will resolve that. We're in orbit now. Yay! I forgot to deploy the interstage. Oh, that's okay. No worries. We'll just be putting a little bit of junk in space that doesn't need to be there. It's not like we're gonna, you know, cause any issues. Real life, um,. Space debris is a huge issue. Not one so much for the moment, but it uh, has the potential to be a really serious issue at some future date. Oh, I'm like, something doesn't look right. This looks like Minmus. Oh, uh, okay. That's why I was having problems. Let's try a burn here instead. A little bit later. Okay, that seems pretty decent. Let's go ahead and see what uh, <sighs> Oh wow, this is a really bad 
So I'm going to try to actually go spot on in the middle. Oh, this actually isn't that bad. Okay. Yeah, this is going to work just fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this maneuver. And then we're going to do a slight inclination adjustment. And we should be able to pass right at the right spot. Oops, what am I doing? Okay, let's warp to next, next maneuver. Literally, can't speak today. Me no speaky well. I'm gonna have to, one of these days, try to get a relay satellite close enough to this to dispose of it or something. Whoops, a little bit late. And that'll probably cause a few issues, but not too bad, hopefully. It'll be fine. So as I'm recording this, you guys will probably know more than I will, because as I'm recording this in about on uh, April 16th, which will be a few days after this is released, where um, NASA is going to launch a mission called TESS. TESS will be used to look for planets around other solar systems. Um, if you've heard of the Kepler telescope, it's similar to Kepler, but Kepler had a relatively limited field of view where TESS will do a limited survey of essentially the entire sky. So, uh, pretty cool stuff. Extrasolar planets haven't... It's been in my lifetime that they were first discovered, and now we know about thousands of them. Mostly it has to do with something called uh, gravity wobble. Which is... Not something you can actually explain using Kerbal Space Program. Whoops. Uh, you know what? That's okay. Okay. Now we'll warp to... Let's plan it. I'll add a maneuver. That's as good as any spot. Okay, we'll actually be fairly close to the right orbit there. We're going to go ahead and set this as a target, and let's go ahead and warp to our next maneuver node here. Real space mission, you could actually still do this kind of correction, although this kind of correction is mostly done by the monopropellant. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this a little bit early, but it won't matter at all.
Look at that, we got plenty of Delta V. So we're going to do the standard kind of thing for doing a highly a high inclination change and for a high inclination change you want an orbit as far out as you can get. So that will do us. Um, so let's go ahead and warp here. And we'll warp to our next maneuver. Another thing, I don't have as much of a problem with the throttable. In real life, you don't have a... Um, an engine that can throttle as well, anywhere near as well as those in Kerbal Space Program. You know, the Falcon 9, for instance, is considered very throttable because it can go down to 30% of its um, thrust. Okay, that will do. Alright, so we're going to... Oh boy, did I do that? Whoops. Okay. So I um, am actually, I thought I was really close, but the truth is I'm actually almost perfectly opposite. You can see that the spacecraft is going in the wrong direction. See, they're going, yeah. So I'm actually going to have to do a complete plane change. So we're going to reorient here to our periapsis. Whoops. What we're going to do is actually take away all of our orbital speed. This is pretty efficient maneuver because of where we're at. Good. Okay. So, actually, let's try to do, I'm going to do just a slight inclination. Let's see how this reacts. Good. The further we can get this ascending node out, the better. So a couple of meters per second here will save us a lot of time. Okay. 45, that's still pretty high, but, uh whatever it'll do whoops that is the wrong direction So we're going to Oh boy. Um we 
probably want to go roughly this direction. Oh, we're even further out from Moon. Okay, so we'll finish doing our adjustment here. And at this point in time, actually I'm going to warp till here. We're going to plan a maneuver node. Okay, so we want to have the two planes collinear. So that looks pretty decent, and we're also going to decelerate. This is really sensitive. because we won't be moving very fast there. Tell you what, this is so sensitive that I am actually gonna just wait. Okay, so let's get pointed in the right direction. And we will just wait. Warp to next maneuver node. Oh, I'm already here. Okay, perfect. Now, um, what are we going to do? I'm actually going to keep rotating for just a moment because what we're going to do is take our periapsis down just so it's touching the uh, orbit here. Ah, we're getting there. So close. I can feel it. These Kerbalons, they're excited to finally be home after years of being stuck on the moon because their silly companies didn't uh, have a proper rocket. Alright, sending node 0.01, that's almost perfect. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're just going, well, we'll set a maneuver node and we're just going to decelerate. These kind of maneuvers are actually pretty easy, so let's see if we can do one more orbit. What we're trying to do is get the pink dot, pink lines to match. Yeah, okay. So we're going to go out one more time. Right there. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and do this.
Seven second burn, wow. Okay, let's... So I'm using just RCS just to do a little bit of tweaking. <sighs> okay, let's go ahead and just warp. I think there's a close pass that's not being shown. So we're going to warp. See how this goes. Can I see it anywhere? So there's moon. Okay, there it is. 70. Can I? No. Okay, let's... Start trying to find the right way. So we're gonna have to slow down very, very hardly. Aha! This is where that extra RCS really comes in handy. Sorry, this is pretty much pitch dark. If it helps anything, it's also pitch dark for me. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and start the burning process. Alright, so we are now kind of on our standard approach. Not super close. How close are we? I'm going to see... Thank you. 
Oh boy, well, let's just warp to here. What, do I not have control right now? How much? Plenty of electric charge, and I have... I didn't run out of fuel, did I? Oh dear. This is not good. Well, hmm. I ran out of monopropellant. So, what am I going to do? Well, the only really reliable way we have of making this work is to... <sighs> Use thrust vectoring. That's going to be fun. Luckily, we have a lot of that fuel. Shoot, we're going almost the exact opposite way. We'll just hang out right here, thrust towards the target. Okay, well, we're doing pretty decent. Um, let's go ahead and warp to here. Okay, um... I have no control authority, probably because I can't see Kerbin. That's okay. I'm just going to keep warping until I do have some control authority. Or some contact. Okay, got it. going almost perfectly the wrong way. And we're still getting closer. Oh boy, what a mess. Okay.
Why can't I? don't understand what is going on. Huh. I seem to not have control. I have signal though. And I have power. this work. Okay. I can make it work now. Sorry, I'm sure this is absolutely riveting. Oh, okay. Going the wrong way. Lovely. It's no fun to not be able to orient this except by thrust vector. This is not really what thrust vector is intended for. If I manage to pull this one off, I'm going to be impressed. Definitely not too far away. Tell you what, um, rather than watch me fumble doing this, I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put an outright cut in here. I will go ahead and finish this episode. Um, Thanks for joining me. Come back next time to see me finish this capsule or either that or really crash and burn. But uh, we'll see. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me and for all you guys do. Take care.